guys, today is a good day to work on that wall right here. I'm gonna finally put something up here. And so let's do that right now. It's time to take that power wall down and reinstall it at our new place. Yeah, both of these have to go down. Alright, I didn't have one of these. I had to go to the store. But now, I do. So. Alright. Guys, you guys gotta help me. Alright, I took out my light here. It's very important to light up your stuff. Alright guys, so my battery is up in the wall. But of course you guys have seen that already. You guys seen me do that before. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, let's talk about the strategy. Let's talk about the configuration. Let's talk about now the actual details. For those of you who criticized me that the cabling was too small, that the thing was a whatever, consider yourself an idiot because who criticizes something without knowing the details? That being said though, not to worry, it's not the end of the world, you can learn something. Uh, today we're gonna talk about those details, okay. Okay, so the power wall, I, the way I have it configured right now is, so there's two main groups of cells, uh, 300 cells each. Um, I have those cells in 20 cells in parallel, right? And then 15 cells in series. So it's uh, 20P, 15S, or 15S, 20P, whatever, however you wanna do it. Um, so, what I'm tr gonna try and do is not break it up. The way it sits, it's kind of weird because 15 cells, right, uh, at 100% state of charge, it's 63 volts. Um, at nominal, it's 55.5 volts. And then at zero, state of charge is 45. So that voltage is a little bit too high for any of the systems, right? There's, there's 12, 24, 36, and 48. And then there are, of course, some, some inverters that will handle whatever voltage you want to throw in there. Uh, they're conf configurable to whatever voltage. So here's the plan. I want to pair those two groups in parallel. One, by the way, it has the 20 cells in parallel. They're about 2 amps each. So it's about 40, uh, 40 amp hours, right? So 55.5 volts nominal. Um, times 40 amps, that's, you know, about 2.2 kilowatts, each one of those. So if I parallel them, then it becomes a 55.5 volt uh, battery at with, with a capacity of 80 amp hours. So at that size, I can roughly estimate that I can safely draw about 40 amps off of that pack. Uh, 40 times 55.5, right? That's 2.2 kilowatts. So this thing could deliver about 2000 watts uh, safely, I think, you know, and so that is the target. So I have to find an inverter that can take this thing's voltage. And so the ones that is going to be most likely be able to do that is going to be a 48 volt inverter. And even that, th this might be a little bit too high. I might have to rearrange the cells and disconnect them and rewire my stuff. But the aim is to try not to. And the reason why I want to do that is because even though I can easily do it here, 
if it, if I can make this work, then I can use any of those Tesla modules that are plentiful and we can get, right? Michael Bream is doing them, is doing that down there at EV West, but of course he's using uh, an inverter that can handle the power that is highly, highly configurable. Can you do that with just a 48 volt system? Can, can well it handle that? So that's gonna be the target. And of course, in the DIY spirit, of course, I'm not just gonna buy some high-end inverter that will be able to configure to that, right? I The, the way I wanna do this, because it's a DIY project, I want to take something off the shelf that we can hack and then we can use it. So, I'm going to start looking for a UPS that works at 48 volts. Um, and I have something that I'm looking at um, and I'm learning a lot from them. I'm learning that they'll charge your battery and they do it in a very peculiar way. That's going to be for a future uh, video. Maybe when I do a teardown and then we look at that thing. I, I'm going to buy one of these. UPS's. I'm going to get it in here. I'm going to make a box similar to that and then I'm going to take it off of this, you know, whatever thing is and then put it in the wall there and then I'm going to run the voltage there, right? And then see if it works, see if I blow it up. Hopefully I don't blow it up and it works with this voltage. And then see if if we can have that inverter or that UPS system actually charge my batteries in there. Because that's the that's the thing, right? If you can, if I can set a timer and I can charge this thing in the middle of the night when power is cheap, and then I can use that power here during the day when I'm working, making my videos, then it's actually saving me money, right? And so the target's going to be about three hundred dollars for the inverter. Um, and right now, as I'm looking at it, I'm looking at one that is two thousand. Uh, 2000 watts, right? But of course that's peak, that's the peak rating because those UPSs are only designed to work for about 10 minutes, well, less than that, I think five minutes. So in reality, I think that's probably like uh, 1000, but I'm gonna show you how um, it's so easily to upgrade to the higher version by just populating some of the components inside, some of the MOSFETs and some of the snubber caps and stuff, um, which will put it up to around three kilowatts uh at which point then i think I, we can run it continuously about about 1500 watts and so that's going to be the experiment that's what we're going to do stay tuned follow this thing because it's going to happen soon i uh i'm i'm already ordered the the ups's so by about 300 dollars hopefully it's going to get me two of those ups's which is going to be peak 6000 watts peak Continuous about 3,000 which is more than this can do but you know if we run if we if we have give ourselves some headroom Then the equipment should last forever and stuff and it's $300 You know, that's actually pretty cheap if you want to only use one and run at 1500 then you yeah, know We're looking at more like 150 200 dollars or something like that. So Stay tuned for this project. It's about to get pretty exciting. All right guys. See you next time. This morning I'm at Refuel. You see both of these together, and so you have to go double slow. <laughs>